What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Franchise Guy. Come back at you again with another episode of Madden 19, My Career, featuring your boy, Chance Bishop. I mean, episode 23, we're in what? Let's see, number four now? Five now? I think it's four or five, one of the two. Uh, we just came off winning back-to-back -back Super Bowls. I mean... It's our second Super Bowl. Carson Wentz, Doug Pearson's first Super Bowl. I mean, it's pretty cool, man. You know, was, Eagles seem to become a dynasty in just a few short years. They added a stellar linebacker. You know, a couple years ago, and Chance Bishop. I mean, he just shored up that defense, you know. Offense hasn't always been there. It's been a little bit of inconsistency sometimes. And as you see right there, that's not Doug Pearson. Uh, no, Doug Peterson has retired and was a first ballot Hall of Famer. So yeah, that happened. Doug Peterson is no longer the head coach of the Eagles. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer. You know, went to Super Bowl three times, won all three Super Bowls. That's pretty good right there. I mean, I feel like he could have held on and, you know, won a couple more with this Eagles team. But who am I to tell a man when to hang up his uh, his coaching clipboard? Who knows? Chance Bishop may one day just call it quits. May call it a career one day. But, you know, it really is sad to see uh, Dougie leave. But, you know, just a video game. So, can't complain too much, I guess. It's not like I'm the, a real-life player playing for a real-life head coach. No, I'm just the guy for YouTube play Madden every couple weeks but you know playing the Cowboys though always gotta beat the Cowboys I'm sorry it doesn't matter if we are 1-5 or we're you know 15-0 and we gotta beat the Cowboys there's no off days against the Cowboys and right here we're sticking it to them we're showing them that there's no off days a 22 to nothing lead uh, we end up winning 23-3. to three. Always good right there. Start the season off correctly with the W against the Cowboys. Taking on the Giants next. We just take on the NFC. Just take on the NFC East. It's, you know, back-to-back. Dak Prescott now taking on Will Grimes. Still don't know what this quarterback's name is. He's been the quarterback since, like, the second year. And I have no clue what this guy's name is. I guess it's first name. I believe it's Will Grimes. I am like 91% sure this man's name is Will Grimes. But then again, I am probably also really wrong. So, whatever. I know Saquon's there. Odell Beckham's still there. No, Saquon. Rocking the captain, see right there, you know, drinking that soda football, weirdo. And Pat Shermer, he's still the head coach, he hasn't won a Super Bowl. But Carson Wentz, he's won two since Chance Bishop's joined back in the 2018-19 season. But it's whatever. Speaking of Chance Bishop, he's going to get a sack right here starting the second quarter off nice and early. And I mean... Look at that. He is starting off where he, you know, left off pretty much. Third and 14. Chance Bishop's making a lot longer. Second sack of the game right there. Still in the second right now. Fourth and 22. Big yard losses right there for us by Bishop. Now on a second and four. You know, it's a nice little manageable down right there. But Chance Bishop has other plans. Forces a third and 10. And on third and 10, gets the back to back sacks. You know, makes that, you know, second, four to a fourth and 18. And on a fourth and 18, he decides just wants to block a point. Doesn't want to pick it up, though. That's fine. Wouldn't just score a touchdown. Defense eventually picks it up. Reggie Ragland, that's who's going to pick that ball up. First and 10 right now. And Bishop's going to show his worth. Doesn't always get involved in the run game, but right there, just pile drives Saquon Barkley into the ground. I mean, he sends him to the ground pretty hard. 
second and eight right now. Not full by that play action pass right there. Grimes taking to the ground, fifth sack of the game for Bishop. And I mean, at the rate he's going right now, he's going to get a lot of sacks really quick. Because that's his sixth sack of the game right now. Five and a half, I'm sorry. Because someone had a tag team right there, Mr. Jordan Hicks. But five and a half sacks, another tackle. We had, was it two or three sacks last game? That's eight sacks already. Just to, you know, seven, eight sacks already. Numbers like that, those, they're just not going to keep up. I mean, as long as Bishop keeps up, he's going to break the record again. Seven sacks. You know, yeah, seven and a half sacks right now for Bishop on the ga game. Game, game, something, it's a game. You try to say game and day at the same time, I end up saying dame. Uh, not the correct word I was looking for. Uh, first and ten, Bishop. Not going to be able to be held by uh, Saquon Barkley right there. He gets another sack. And John just forced to call timeout. It's his ninth sack of the game. Nine and a half technically, but you know. Nice easy round number as we hit sack number two. No, nah, that's our nine and a half sack. I'm sorry. Tenth tackle, ninth sack of the game. Uh, fourth and goal right now. And uh, another interception is going to be thrown by his uh, opponents against his Eagles defense. And I believe Mr. Ronald Darby's going to go all the way to the house for the touchdown right there. Pick six. Old man still got it. Second interception on the season for Darby in the second game of the season. We're up 27-3, 28-3 after the field goal. Uh, and we're not done there. Another interception thrown. This time to Malcolm Butler. Yes, that Malcolm Butler is now a Philadelphia Eagle. We end up winning 28-3. Uh, we had three takeaways that game. That's pretty good. Taking on Jacksonville right now. Super Bowl rematch right here. I mean, we didn't, we didn't get a lot of uh, action during the Super Bowl. Really, I think we had like a sack, maybe two sacks. Look how sad this looks. This looks really sad. Because I know the Falcons had that really nice new stadium intro, and this one was just really sad. There's like two, three trees. That was it. Poor Jacksonville. You need some something. You just need more than what you already have, because you don't have much, and I feel bad for you, Jacksonville. I mean, taking a look at Jay Ajahi, last game, 19 carries, 45 yards. Not a really good game, really. It's not a great game at all. 20 carries for less than 50 yards. But so far, this new head coach is doing pretty good. He's 2 0 on the season. I mean, eh, let's give the guy a try. But uh, speaking of giving the guy a try, Chance Bishop, first play of the game. Or not first play of the game, I'm sorry. We're in fourth and 11 already. He gets a half a sack. First drive of the game for probably for Jacksonville. Gets a sack right there. Look at that. The play action pass gets batted away. Fletcher Cox, the big man right there. Gets the interception. How often do you see your defensive tackles get interceptions right there? User sack, though. Chance Bishop taking down the quarterback. That's something he didn't get to do a lot during the Super Bowl. That's his 12th sack of the season. I thought said 12 sacks. That is a lot of sacks. So, no, forcing the safety right there. That's Gallipo, I believe. On the sack. 5 nothing. So far, I mean... Oh boy, look at that. Nice little flip right there. We get credited for half a sack. I, be I, I believe we got credited for half a sack on that one. Probably not. We had to have because Global got half a sack. But third sack right there, we did get credit for half a sack because we were at one and a half right. So that's our third That's our fourth sack right now. Fifteenth sack of the season. We're in the third game. We already have 15 sacks. I guess that's what happens when you sack a quarterback 10 times in one game. But, uh, 
championship right now. Historic numbers about to break, you know, the sack record in week number four. You know, 16th sack of the season right there. You end up winning 26 to nothing. 200 passing yards, 114 rushing yards, two takeaways. I mean, they're trying to cheer up this Jacksonville's quarterback. They're like, you can't always beat the Eagles. No one else has beat the Eagles in a couple of years. I mean, taking on Green Bay right now. Mr. Aaron Rodgers taking on Carson Wentz. A matchup we haven't had, I don't think, at all in this series. I don't think we've played Green Bay yet. Like, I know we've played... Um, Ooh, the Vikings a couple times. I know we've played um, the Bears a couple times. I don't think we've played Green Bay, though. I don't think we've played Green Bay. I also don't think we've played that fourth team in that division. I can't remember what that team is. It's uh, Bears, Vikings, uh, Green Bay. And it's going to be a dumb team, I guarantee it. I have no clue who that team could possibly be. Mike McCarthy, not the head coach. And Brandon McManus, the former, uh, I think he was a former Bronco. He's the kicker. All right. Chance Bishop gets the sack. Fourth and 37. Oh, boy. 17th sack of the season for Chance Bishop right there. On a fourth and inches. I mean... We let it up, but uh, we lay into Aaron Rodgers, and he's grabbing his arm right there. We have backup quarterback in. I'm not something Joseph right there. Fish up on his first play in the game. Sacks the poor boy. 18th sack of the season. And then not much better for Joseph later in that drive. Fourth and 22nd. Throws the interception to Thelwell. He well or he well. Still well. I don't know. Something the well. But, uh, end up winning handsomely 13 to nothing. 175 passing yards, 76 rushing yards. And that last interception to end the game right there. If you guys like this, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed them, make sure you guys check the plus down below. Peace out. Rock on, YouTube.